I just have this one and I don't remember the other one. I have a nice little pimple there. Isn't that nice and pretty? I would say it's an orange. I mean, it has orange in the name. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and this week was really just kind of all over the place with my favorites. I was pretty much just into easy makeup looks. Like I didn't want to spend a lot of time on my makeup. I didn't do a lot of like really involved eye looks this week. So I have some single shadows to talk to you about. Like pretty much it, well today I'm wearing all three of them, but I wore them individually this week and I think they're really pretty by themselves. And then I have some other random favorites. So just kind of all over the place. So let's jump into it. So first off I grabbed one of my Palladio Crushed Metallic Shadows. This one is in the color Stellar. And I do have this kind of like on the very inner corner of my eyes. Like not like here, but like the inner corner of my eyelids. But it's layered over something else. So you can't really see it like full on like it looks. But it is just a really beautiful kind of like, I don't know, rose gold warm taupey color. Like I feel like it's not full on rose gold. Well, scratch that. No, it's just, it's just rose gold. I, I mean, maybe, is there a taupe in there? Or am I just losing my mind? I feel like it's a rose gold that has maybe a little bit of a cool toned shift to it. I don't know, tell me if I'm just making things up. Kind of reminds me of Amber Rush from L'Oreal, which I love that one. This one's really pretty too. These metallic shadows are like super intense and pigmented and beautiful. I just have this one and I don't remember the other one, but I like the other one that I have too. So Matt need to check some more of these out. I got this at Sally's. And then this one I'm wearing in my outer corner and on my lower lash line. This is one of the Rimmel singles. This is the Magnifies, Magnifies Mono Eyeshadow and this is in VIP Pass. I feel like I don't see these very many places, but some displays have the singles, but this is nice. Like it is really pigmented and really nice and smooth. I mean, I think it's really very nice. And I want to say it was like $3 or something. So I don't know. So right now I'm wearing this with my eye look, but then I did wear it by itself. Like this is a really pretty simple brown smoky eye, just like you don't even have to use a base, but I find that using a base makes a big difference. So just use some kind of a base on your eyelid, put this on, blend it up into your crease, maybe blend it with like some bronzer or something in your crease, and you just got a really easy eye look there. So isn't that a pretty brown? It's, I don't know, it's like, it's just a chocolate, but I feel like it has something special about it. Like some kind of a sheen maybe, just like a really subtle satin sheen. I just think it's really pretty with a really nice texture and it's inexpensive. This is the one that I wore the most this week. This is Clinique's Willow Pop and it's just a really pretty kind of like greeny gold. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. It's really mostly a green, but it has like a, like an antique gold shift to it. It's so pretty. It's a really nice single shadow look like I wore this um, I've got it in this whole situation today but I wore this with a base and then I blended it blended it up and then I used my bronzer in my crease to kind of like finish out the eye look but just so pretty and it's one of those that it has dimension to it so it looks like you're wearing more shadows than you are so you've got like the light you know kind of like catching it in different ways and it just looks so pretty and it's really cute in the stinking pan, which just makes me happy. So it's a fun time to look at and it's a fun time on your eyes. So I love this Willow Pop, really pretty. For blush, I have a couple of favorites. So first off, I broke out my MAC New Romance Mineralized Blush. This is so pretty, hate the packaging, but I love this blush. It's just a really beautiful, glowy peach. And it's kind of a lighter peach. There's another one that I love from them. I think it's, is it Petal Power? I think it's maybe Petal Power. Ooh, I can't remember. But it's like a darker peach. This is the lighter peach and it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
And I feel like because it's that light peach, it just has this like really sweet, kind of like angelic look on the face. It's so pretty. So, I mean, you can see how light it is. It really is like, almost like a blush highlight. Like when I wear this, I'm not wearing this one today, I'm wearing the other one I'm about to share with you. But when I wore this one, I didn't feel the need to wear a highlight because it kind of does it all, you know what I mean? Because it's got that sheen to it. So I feel like sometimes putting a highlight over these is a little bit too much, but by itself, it's just so sweet and just angelic looking. I feel like that's the word for it because it has that, I don't know, that angelic look to it. I don't even know what other word to say, but it's just really pretty and cute. I pulled out an Old Faithful this week. This is Chanel's jersey. I feel like this is just, like if you're gonna invest in a Chanel blush, this is the one to go with first because this blush is just a never fail ya kind of color. It's gonna go with every makeup look. I'm wearing it today. It's, it's like a, I feel like it's one of those that can be like a blush bronzer. Like if you're trying to go easy with your makeup, you don't wanna do contouring, bronzing, blush, all of that, whatever. I feel like if I just throw this on my face, this can like take the place of bronzer and blush because it's got like just that neutral tone to it that kind of serves both purposes. You know what I mean? So if you take it a little bit farther back on I have a nice little pimple there. Isn't that nice and pretty? Um, <laughs> so if you see a dot on my face, it's a pimple. But I feel like if I get it a little bit further back on my cheeks, you know, like in the bronzer zone, it totally works. You know what I mean? Like it just gives that structure to your face, but also gives you some color. It's so pretty. I mean, it's, you know, it looks kind of boring there, to be honest, but it's amazing. When you get it on your face, it's amazing. And it's just like a quick blush option. You know what I mean? Really nice quality too. Pricey, but really nice. For lips this week, there was one day that I was wearing a very neutral eye look and I had kind of like a reddish sort of a shirt on and I was feeling like an orangey red lip that day. I just felt like neutral eye, kind of a fun, Shirt color, let's go with some color on my lips. So I did this option and I really liked it. This is Jordana's Easy Liner for Lips in Sedona Red and this is one of the Maybelline Loaded Bolds. This is in Orange Danger, which is kind of a funny name because it reminds me a lot of Max Lady Danger. I don't have that one to compare it, but just like based on swatches I've seen of that one and looking at it myself in store, it looks pretty close to me because this is, I mean, it really is an orange, but it's got that red tone to it. I mean, there it looks red, but in a, like when I'm looking in the mirror over here, it looks more orange. So I would say it's an orange. I mean, it has orange in the name, but <laughs> it has that reddish tone to it. So it's just fun and retro. And I feel like with Sedona Red, it made it obviously a, little, obviously a little bit more red because this one is a red. So I used that as my liner, kind of blended it into it, and it's just like a fun, bright lip color. I really, really liked that a lot. I think I, think I might have posted a picture on Instagram wearing this, or maybe I just did the outfit. I think I was just wearing the outfit in the picture. But anyway, that day I was wearing this, and I love it. I love these lipsticks. I think they're amazing. I love them all. I have a whole video on them if you wanna see 18 of the 20 shades I swatched in that video. So I'll try to remember to link it for you. And this totally fits in the easy makeup category. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. I wore this by itself one day and it's just a really pretty gloss. And I feel like it's one of those that makes you look put together but is really comfortable on your lips. And it's kind of like, sort of like, it's not a no makeup look, but it's a, more subtle, not overdone makeup look. So if you just want a little bit of color on your lips, then this is a really nice option. I love these, they're like $5, they smell amazing. They're not super long wearing, but they're not sticky. So I feel like they're super comfortable, super affordable, super yummy smelling, and they have a lot of fun colors. So Angel Food Cake is just that really nice kind of 
pinky mauve neutral color. And lastly, what I'm wearing right now is Kat Von D's Magic. This is one of my favorite ones from this line because it's a really pretty kind of light neutral pink, but then it's got some shimmer in it, which just makes me happy. I mean, it's like, oh, it's a neutral pink, but no, but wait, there's like, I don't even know what color they are, but sort of like a, I think they look like they're, and they're super subtle. That's why I'm like really examining. Um, like a really, really finely milled silvery sort of a shimmer. But I mean, it is so subtle that it really just almost comes off as kind of a duochrome, like sort of like catching the light. So you really don't see chunky glitter on your lips, but it just kind of like catches the light. So I love this one. I really can't feel it. I really can't feel that shimmer but I can see the pretty sheen that comes from it, which I love, but it's just a really pretty neutral pink anyway. I mean, I feel like the shimmer is kind of like an added bonus, but even just the shade of it is just a beautiful pink. All right, guys, so that wraps up all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.